Hello everybody, Michael here. For a small competition of a local online retailer, me and two buddies made this sick burger b-roll. Check it out. The online retail company that launched the challenge actually made a video of their own where they basically set an example on what you should do and they claimed they used very simple techniques and a lot of fire. Now in the behind the scenes it was clear that they used like a lava 24mm pro blends, I think a Blackmagic Pocket 6K or something like that, sliders, green screen, advanced lighting, you know, the usual stuff. So I figured we could settle for something different and I went online and bought this tabletop skate dolly for like 70 bucks and it's really cool it has adjustable turning wheels where you can basically define the radius of your turning and I just put a fluid head on top of it and we're basically set to go. Okay to be honest it took me ages to adjust these freaking wheels properly that I could make a 180 around the burger on my small table that I have upstairs. Now what kind of burger was I going to shoot? I ended up choosing a vegan meat alternative uh, it's a plant-based burger from a company called The Green Mountain and what I really like about them, they're actually here locally in Switzerland and even though I am no vegetarian or nor am I vegan by any means, I have to admit this is pretty damn tasty. So I figured, you know what, let's make a different scene for each and every ingredient and also give it a different lighting flavor. So I used a PavaTube 30C as a top-down light and adjusted the colors according to the ingredients that was in the scene. Like we had a ton of fun shooting this video and we laughed our asses off and <laughs> the best part was when um, the burger patty came down on the burger we had to put fire on it and we actually did that using deodorant and a zip one. So this is not recommended to do at home because it's dangerous, A, and B, one of my bodies actually burned like a big chunk of his hair out of his arm. The editing was really straightforward. I already had a fire track in my head. It's called La 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 Love You Like by Deuce Williams and available on Artlist. This track is just pure social media soundtrack gold. I tell you that much. What I did then was I just put all the clips of the ingredients one after another and then kind of tried to match them to the beat using speed ramps. Yeah, and basically this is what my first edit version looked like. In order to make the transition between each ingredient a bit smoother, I ended up nesting a couple of frames of the beginning and of the end of each shot and I put some directional blur in there. After that I nested each and every ingredient or each and every clip again and then carefully played a little bit with the scale and cropped in here and there just to make the burger a bit more uh, centric in the view and also to make the transitions even better because then like the end of the frame would like swing by the camera instead of being distant or not fully covering the frame. Finally it was time for some sound design. I ended up using like 41 different sound effects on this video by a site called Soundstripe. They're a really good alternative to art lists, especially when it comes to sound effects because the art list library to me sometimes feels a little bit like, like a jungle, you know, it's a lot of stuff there but it's not organized all that well. Whereas in Soundstripe everything is neatly described, everything is clearly visible, but of course the library is a bit smaller. After that I put the sound effects and the beat together and it was time for the color grading. The color grading was a part that Sandra did, the body that burned his hand while we were filming the whole thing and he did a magnificent job and actually made a little breakdown of what he color graded and what kind of VFX he also did to enhance the experience a little bit. You know, lens flares and a bit of additional fire, as if he hadn't burned himself bad enough. There you have it, what do you think? Please let me know below in the comments 
And if you enjoyed this video, it would mean a lot to me if you left a like or subscribe to the channel. So keep creating and I see you guys in the next one. Cut!